hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is mesoma meje and i'm a nigerian content creator youtuber and lawyer living in lagos nigeria if this is your first time here please don't make it your last by clicking the subscribe button below and giving this video a thumbs up but if this isn't your first time that means you're an og subscriber so welcome back <laughs> i know the reason why you all click this video you want to know how to take your instagram followers from zero to a hundred or like me from a thousand to ten thousand well i have just the thing for you a little backstory i started content creation in 2019 and i started posting um consistently and then during the lockdown i kept on posting i kept doing different things on my instagram page because obviously everybody was at home and there was basically nothing to do at home so i just kept creating I had photography classes and all of that and i worked with my first brand on instagram and it was an international brand and that was like what um took me to another whole new level over the course of four years from 2019 now to 2023 i have grown my page organically none of all those shady things and i'm just going to basically give you guys tips and tricks on how i grew my page organically on ig to 10,000 followers i hit the 10k mark last month august and i celebrated on instagram but i haven't really talked about it much on youtube so i started to make a video to tell you guys about this without much ado let's get into this video So the first thing I would say I did was posting consistently. So a lot of people misunderstand um, what posting consistently means. Posting consistently means always showing up on your feed. At least in a week, you have something to drop on your feed. So um, some Instagram instructors will tell you um, post every day, um, post two times a day, post three times a day. I don't think it works for everybody. I usually post um, every other day. If I post on Monday, and I have a new post. I don't post on Tuesday. I post on Wednesday. So like I leave like a day in between to post. Sometimes I can have up to like three posts. And I can make three posts in one day. So it just depends on the mood I'm in. And the fact that I like to put out very relatable content. Like very quality content. Not just posting because of posting stake. Or because I just want to you know just post and feel among. And posting consistently is not just posting any kind of content. It is posting content that is either relatable, informative, educative, or entertaining. Any of those four would actually boost your following. And also, lastly, and probably the most important one, shareable content. Why am I talking about shareable content? Shareable content is content that people see, they relate to, and they share. The more shares you get on a video, the likely you are to reach new people on instagram or to reach new followers potential followers and grow your page basically so if someone who has a thousand shares on a video would most likely not in all cases bring in more followers through that video than someone who had maybe a thousand likes the second thing is picking a niche so i'm a bit biased about this because when i first started i didn't exactly have a niche i just wanted to post and share things with people and just share what i was doing that day or share a new photograph i took or share a new place i visited so i was nicheless basically but in doing that uh, people saw different parts of me that they could relate to so people were following me for my travel content some people were following me for my lifestyle content some people were just following me for my photography or artistic content and it was like a mix or mixed match of people so i would say when i started getting to like seven six seven k followers i started to you know niche down a bit i started doing more style skincare and then lifestyle content so i was just basically doing the three of them together and you know more brands want to work with you because you're more niched down and you have probably a more engaged audience than other people who do not have a niche um i think what actually took me up to 10k i would say where some relatable content i posted that were not necessarily in my niche that's why i said i'm biased because you might niche down and you might not grow as fast or you might be nicheless and you might still not grow as fast it could be anything but what worked for me was just doing my thing i was first nicheless and then i started to niche down i'm currently doing beauty skincare fashion and lifestyle content on instagram and a few of my contents were very relatable i've had content that had 2.9 million views i've had content that had over 100k views and they all brought in new followers maybe when you're starting out start to create content that people can relate to that can actually help you bring in followers and then when you want to start working with brands you have to 
find particular niches it doesn't have to be one niche you can pick like two or three niches that people know you for and people follow you for and brands want to work with you for and that's just basically it and you could create content around that another thing i did while i was growing was to run ads on my page i think there was a point where i turned my page into a business account because i was running photography classes and um video editing classes yes so i turned my page to a business account and then i started to run ads talking about my classes trying to get people to follow me or register for the class so they can learn a thing or two about photo editing or video editing and that also helped to bring in followers or when my page was still a personal account i also ran ads on high performing posts emphasis on high performing posts most times instagram tells you oh this photo is doing better than your previous five photos then you should know that that's a high performing post so i boosted those high performing posts by running ads and paying for ads and that um, converted into new followers or even new brands that wanted to work with me and that also helped me grow another thing i would say helped me grow were some i would semi-viral or viral posts so like i said earlier i had a couple of viral posts that you know brought a lot of eyes to my page and brought in new brands i worked with so the thing about my viral posts or posts that i've done that went viral most of those contents were like things i just thought about on the spot i didn't plan them almost all my planned content never goes viral that the ones that i just say oh that light bulb idea and i do it immediately and i post it without thinking or saying ah, this thing people will be able to relate to it were those videos that people actually related to and that was what like brought me different people's faces and they said follow my page truth is that not everybody goes viral and <laughs> i've probably only gone viral once i got about 3k followers from one single um, reel that went viral and took me up to like seven or eight k at that time but i would say do not focus on just creating viral content because if you do that you can easily get burned out and people can sense that oh you're trying too much or you're trying to you know make the post go viral and they'll just withdraw and you'll just see your numbers dropping down <laughs> and you'll be like what did i do wrong and lastly i would also say talk about your work talk about what you do like if i meet you for the first time i'm telling you i'm an influencer i'm a content creator or follow my page or follow my business page watch my youtube channel or follow me on youtube but let's come down to instagram so almost everyone i meet i always tell them oh i create content like as a job and i show them my instagram page and they follow or i just basically put it out there my portfolio is there whatever information i'm giving out to you i'm actually also adding all those social media platforms to it but even if one person follows you out of all those people you've spoken to that one person can bring you another hundred another 10 and you just keep growing from there and that's just basically how i grew my page to 10k followers to conclude this video i would say um do these five things or more than five things i mentioned earlier and also know that there is no hard and fast rule to getting to 10k followers or getting to 100k followers just do your thing um, put in the work be consistent talk to people about what you do because what's that thing they say closed mouths don't get fed so <laughs> if you intend to make this a career path or a side hustle then you should get serious about it so thank you so much for watching my video thank you for always supporting me my og subscribers i love you all and for my new subscribers because i know you're clicking that button down subscribe and you're liking it to like <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video was very helpful for you if you have any comments please 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 drop them in the comments box i'll be there i'll be replying to all your comments i've also linked my social media accounts down in my description box so you can also follow me and get more tips and tricks on this and yeah that's it basically guys thank you and see you in my next video bye Mwah.